Hey. So that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> um, yeah, so it went viral. That was weird. Um, 40,000 of them was on Valentine's Day, which does not make sense. People should be outside. <laughs> well, <laughs> there's that. <clears throat> um, yeah, so last time, the, the video, uh, the mysterious video, is about, was motivational speaking. I had three topics. It was get the fuck out of bed, get excited, and do more. And I've heard from some people who are like, well, that's easy to say. You're such an extrovert. It's like, wow, okay, let me think about that. I'm an extrovert because I can come up here and perform. Um, no, I'm, I'm actually an introvert. It's, it's a mystery there. Um, it's... Do you know the difference between extrovert and introvert? Yes. Yes. No. No. Good. Someone I can talk to. Everyone else knows already. Um, introverts classically are described as bookish people that just kind of like um, hermits and sit alone and, and find great pleasure in that. You know, read and um, research things. That They're really good accountants. And it's like what seems to other people or what would be extroverts as boring um, I find great pleasure in that. I'm also hilarious, so I come up here and talk to you guys about things. Um, you know, this is where I spend all my time when I'm not here, hidden in the shadows and thinking and reading and researching, so I can come up here and, and perform. Uh, and what goes into that, you know, get excited and do more, you know, whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, um, you will find there are things that particularly speak to you, um, whether it's you know getting into a group activity, going and accomplishing something together. You're possibly an extrovert, which is fine. Um, and if you're an introvert, that's fine. There's no there's no hate for either side. You just are what you are, and that's I, I like that a lot. Um, and then like in my own life, because I come out and do this, I was in a band for a while. I go and do karaoke, and people are like, oh, you're an extrovert. I was like, no, that's kind of just a f societal facade. <laughs> you know? I, uh, I like <laughs> whatever that was. And then, <laughs> yeah, I can make this funnier. I've still got time. Hold on. Um, yeah. So with that, these lights are so bright. I keep forgetting because I keep, I don't come up here very often. So these lights. Um, don't go into the light. So what I, what I found, the thing that bridges introvert and extrovert, to me, is your curiosity. So that getting excited and doing more, it focuses in on the curiosity aspect of it. You know, I told you last time I was in the process of making music videos for bands. I was in the process of doing a video for open stage that I want to present sometime that'll be pretty groovy. Um, that I also run a blog and that I also... Um, it's hard to think with these lights and the clicking of those cameras. <laughs> Holy crap. It's so good. Yeah. I may be a narcissist because I really love that click. Holy crap. Oh, no. <laughs> Even introverts, I guess they're into themselves. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, but so, so, you know, introverts, extroverts. I was watching a TED Talk when it brought this all up. Is this lady was making it sound like etro extroverts are like brutish, knuckle-dragging people. And that, you know, the people who should rule the world are the ones that think and read books. And I thought that was intriguing because there's nothing wrong with being an extrovert at all. You get excited and, you know, find pleasure and are curious about all the things that are, you know, flashy and, you know, not necessarily... Autistic, or not, that's not the word I'm looking for. Um, uh, yeah, attention deficit, that's what I was looking for. It had an A. That's the important part. Um, yeah, my last speech was a lot more polished, and this one is going to be terrible. <laughs> um, but, you know, I do appreciate, you know, appreciate this place, even as somebody who, you know, personally, I really enjoy my me time, really enjoy... Um, being alone, <laughs> but uh, you know, but sometimes alone with people. Like my girlfriend's here, and she knows I'm up here being really weird, and um, will later explain to me like, "You did great. You obviously fell apart, but it'll be okay." Um, <laughs> there she is, my angel. <laughs> All right. 
So if I have like have like a minute left or so, so the burlesque part, is that, that's not happening. I was kidding. Show us your ankle. I knew that. I knew immediately. So I started already removing my shoe. Let me do this thing here for you. All right. Man, I knew there was something else I wanted to share with you guys, but I think it's going to have to um, I have to do more thought. Oh, no, I know what it is. Um, yeah, so so the other like really cool thing in my life is I got on the scale and I was like freaked myself out. So I'm making a lot of personal changes in my life, too. This is the like sharing and caring part that like, I need my parents know. Um, there's a terrifying number that scales should never read, and I'm there, guys. It's not good. But uh, so in the last week, I've stopped drinking coffee, stopped having dairy, stopped having sodas, except for the exception of tonight. I needed alcohol to come up here. <laughs> um, so I had to mix that with soda because I'm kind of a wimp. And I also rarely, because I rarely drink also. So like I'm just cutting all these things out and it's, it's been very blissful. <laughs> all these um, distractions. If you find like an advertisement for something and then don't put that into your life, you find bliss. <laughs> I want you to know that right now. That, that right there, I think, is the whole purpose of this speech. If there's an advertisement for it, get rid of it, and you find bliss. All right, that'll do it. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs>